What the? Oh my god! What are these? What? What is this? Is it like some sort of thing that you put your pot on? What are these little bumps? They're so squishy and ribbed. Hey everybody, it's Danny from Board Game Sanctuary and in this video we are going to check out a brand new product that has just hit the market. I ac don't actually know what it is, but in sure this video we're going to find out. The latest addition to the Board Game Sanctuary realm. These two cute little guys. Say hello. It's a brand new tank. Just installed today. And beneath the tank we have Umbervia and Reef. And also some cool little pop heads. So we were out of the shops the other day and I came across this bucket of colour. And in this bucket of colour I found these really odd looking things. Um, I believe these come in different shapes and sizes, but I think they're called poppets. But when I first looked at it, I was like, do you, what do you do with it? Do you put it on a, do you put like your kettle or your uh, hot pot on this little thing and it stops it from damaging the bench? Or is it some sort of fidget toy or game? Time to crack one of these open. <laughs> it's got that really strange rubbery smell to it. Oh, it's quite rubbery. It kind of makes like this popping sound when you touch it. And then when you, when you, I guess when you push the holes through, they kind of come out on the other side. They're quite uh, ribbed. Oh, it is. Oh, it's very flexible. I kind of like the colours on this one. And then... Oh, you can push them all the way through. Well, it's kind of satisfying, actually. <laughs> can you hear that popping sound when you push it through? <laughs> this is so odd. So strange. This is a round one. And this one's a square one. I think they must come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Oh, this one's very even. This one's got like a bubble array. You can kind of punch the little bubbles all the way through. Oh. Bubbling sound. Ooh. <laughs> so I don't know whether it sounds good or whether it sounds... Oh, like something else. Circular one, there's three, and there's five, and there's six, six, and then five, and then three. So I guess they're kind of different on that regard, and the shapes, colour-wise, they're the same. They're kind of very ribbed, and they've got these like little ribbed edges, if you can kind of see. If I bend it like that, you can kind of see them. So I did a little bit of research online to find exactly what this thing actually is. First of all, it's kind of like a little bit of a fidget toy. So it's great for kids, it's great for adults, it's just great to play with if you're trying to get your mind off something that um, you might be stressed about. So it's kind of like a little play thing that helps you with uh, your mental awareness. It also doubles as a mini logic game. And how you play the logic game is, First of all, you'll notice that the poppet has these distinct colored rows. So player one would pick a row and they would decide to pop any number of bubbles in that row. So for example, if player one picks this yellow row and they decide to pop three bubbles. That would be players two turn. They would pick any row and decide to pop any number of bubbles in that row. Let's say they pick purple and I've just popped all the bubbles in the purple row. Then it's back to player one, who then picks a row. They decide to pop any number of bubbles in that row. Back to player two, they might choose this aqua row and pop five bubbles. Then it would pass back to player one, who would pick any row, pop any number of bubbles. And this would continue happening until one person has to pop the last bubble. If that person has to pop the last bubble, 
they lose the game. So there's a bit of logic that kind of occurs in this little mini game. Now, depending on what type of poppet shape you've got, this one's circular, this one is square, the game is going to be a little bit different when you play it. So the rows here are different in terms of their number, whereas in this one, the rows are going to be more even. So there you have it. It's a poppet bubble logic gamey fidgety rubbery thing. If you really like these, then look out at your local uh, $2 shop or discount store because they currently have them in the truckloads. Thank you once again for joining me for another video at Board Game Sanctuary. If you really like my videos guys, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and share button. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page if you want to see Board Game Sanctuary grow. This is Danny signing out. Thanks for joining me for this very unusual game review and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye!